Hello my Mechtoe Brothers back again for another video and this time what I want to talk about is something that's been brought up quite a bit but I wanted to tackle it from a, an esoteric point of view and it's something that Thinking Ape calls male mother need. Now male mother need since Stardust it, in, its, in its first iteration and then Thinking Ape later on it's been passed around the MGTOW community but it's never really been fully explained at least not to my satisfaction now as far as I'm concerned since I'm old school male mother need has been around for a long time and it's if anyone has ever had children you've probably noticed it that your children no matter what you do seem to cling to their mother more than they cling to you and that's what I noticed with my children that no matter what their mother did they always took her side of the equation. Now some 20 years ago I was sitting into in a particular class with my spiritual teacher way back when back in the mid 90s and the thought came up we were talking about something similar so I point blank asked him why is it that children are more attached to their mother than their father? Is it nurturing? Is it how they're raised? Society, what is it? And in his own simple way, he just looked at me and he said, it's because children are made from the mother's material, from the mother's cells. That's where they get their nourishment from. And that's why they have a, a resonant bond to the mother. It comes directly from the womb with the first inception and at the time it blew me away because it was so simple and it made so much sense it was something that I had never thought of that of course the child would be imprinted with the mother's signature just because her cells are imprinted with her own particular signature it made more sense to me than anything else and for 20 years I've never really even questioned it, it even talking to friends who've lost their mother or were raised by fathers that particular bond was so strong between mother and child that was almost seemed unbreakable I've seen a lot of friends who had incomplete relationships with their mother struggle with their relationship with women I always find trying to find that mothering that they didn't get or that bond that they didn't get from their mother it made me realize that the children actually needed their mother more than they ne needed me at the particular time now in my opinion children do much much better when raised by their father if it's going to be a single parent I do believe that children do better in the world as far as success when raised by their father but psychologically that whole from their mother needs to be filled and vice versa women who abandon their children are never filled completely because that longing for that child will always be there now I've never made a video about this because it's a personal belief and it has a lot to do with my particular brand of religion so I didn't think it was appropriate to bring it up in a MGTOW channel that was until I saw a video posted by the Dark Knight about microchimerism and in microchimerism they were finding that fetal cells or fetal DNA are crossing the placenta barrier and actually implanting themselves or making themselves a part of the mother's body and vice versa they found these cells lodged in all parts of her, the woman's body, you know, especially the brain. But they also found the fetal cells in her heart, her liver, you know, in her nervous system. So that made absolutely a lot of sense. They've also found that non-fraternal twins, you know, uh, where there's a boy and a girl, the 
Y chromosomes were also detected in the female twin and the reason it's Y chromosome those are easily detected as foreign cells in a woman's body so that shows that a mother and child are swapping DNA in other words there's DNA from the woman found in the child and there's DNA from the child found in the woman so that makes perfect sense that that bond would actually be there because there's a little bit of themselves in each other and that's almost exactly what my spiritual teacher was telling me 20 years ago that male mother need or the woman's connection mother's connection to the child is not only a spiritual component but a biological component and I wouldn't be surprised if that nature had done that so that the mother would have an instant bond to her offspring so it's no wonder that men carry this longing inside of them all their lives and it's probably daughters too the need for mothering because the mother has been imprinted not only on their psyche but also in their cells in their bodies so that longing and that emptiness that men feel makes sense that need for a mother's approval and also that need by boys to protect their mother it also makes sense so to get over women it's not only a mental connection but also a physical connection that goes sometimes even beyond the sex drive uh, I thought this was interesting um, let me know what you, you fellas think about this um, it's something that I have thought about and I have actually seen in practice over the last 20-25 years so that inspired me not only to do this one but I'm gonna do another one talking about mystic marriage or intermarriage and individuation and how that relates to the esoteric male and female but also Jung's uh, interpretation of yin and yang so um, look out for the next one I'm gonna close this one out so drop me a note tell me what you think and I'll get back at you